Mass, appreciate you talking to us before we look at tomorrow's game. A quick recap on a great night at Barnsley on Tuesday. What were your thoughts on it? Oh, unbelievable. Um, fans are unbelievable. Atmosphere is unbelievable. Uh, tough game. I thought the first 20 minutes they were they come out flying. We expected they were going to be, you know, high energy and try and score early. Um, you know, but we had to suffer a little bit. And once we got over that little hill, um, they slowed down a little bit. And then our quality took over and we got two goals before the half. And yeah, and we never looked back. What impressed you most about getting that result? Because it was a valuable three points, wasn't it? Um, I just, I thought we were resilient. Um, you know, we dug in deep when we needed to. You know, we did the horrible side of the game well. Um, I think to get out of this league and to do well in, in, in football, you've got to do that side really well. And, and I think if you're good enough, the, the quality comes out anyway. And, and that's what happened. You probably thought you'd bagged another early doors as well, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. I, I am told I need to shoot more. So I was, um, I was anticipating that one for quite a while. But uh, yeah, just not my day. That's fine. We've only been chatting about the, the Barnsley game, but are those characteristics, attributes, qualities, whatever word you want to use that you've noticed since coming through the door in January? Yeah, 100%. I think, um, you know, home games are a little bit different because I would say the momentum doesn't swing as much as away games. But um, for sure, away games, you need to you know, grind out results. And I don't think, you know, the ones I've been involved in have been perfect games from us. They've just been... You know, tough games. We've had to run a lot. We've had to fight, win headers, win jewels, and um, yeah, I think that's what you need. And this group, I think, twenty-four of our players can do it. So, I think it's a good, a good group, and a, and, and a good, you know, even off the bench, people come on and they they give us the same attitude and the same energy, and if not more, um, than the boys that started. So it's, it's it's a good squad to have. Yeah. Looking at tomorrow, in what ways will Exeter be a threat at Portman Road? Um. I think they're going to come in with the game plan, so we've got to be ready for that. Uh, you know, I think we've had a, a few, so many different types of football games at Portman Road, so yeah. we're sort of used to a lot of it, but we just got to expect that they're going to come with something different. Um, and I'm sure they'll be up for the game because they sort of want to show how good they are. You know, they're, they're safe now and, and they've got nothing to lose, but, um, you know, we are aware of their threats and their individual players, and we've just got to, you know, deal with them and treat it as if they're any other team and once we get over that I think once we get the ball I think we'll be right. Another home sellout as well yeah. how much of a part do the supporters have to play and also you know they've contributed to making Portman Road an excellent record for you guys at home hasn't it? Yeah since I've been here it's been amazing mm. so um, I'm, I'm really I think we're all looking forward to this game uh, the final home game of the season uh, yeah it's been class for the past since since I've been here, so uh, I'm sure before as well. But um, I, you know, I think this one's a little bit more special. Um, you know, we're going to use that to our advantage for sure. Um, we've, and yeah, we've just got to push on and, and get the job done. Just finally, naturally, there's a lot of noise externally, but I'm, no doubt you boys are just focused on 90 minutes and another full match. Yeah, 100. percent You know, it's just another game. We've got to we've got to get the job done. Um, we've got. I've said it before. We've got the characters in here to to overcome all that and, and just to be professional and, you know, do our jobs. Um, and I think as a professional footballer, that's the minimum you can do. And then our quality will come out once we get all that done and we work hard and get our jobs right and, yeah, deserve the chance to play. And then I think the outcome will be there or thereabouts.